Hi, my name is Didier. Welcome to the lab at La Maison du Whisky over in Paris. Today we are with my friend Jared, which is our whisky expert. Hi guys. How you doing? Doing good, thanks. Good? Yeah, it's pretty hot. You know, I feel like I'm in the sixth floor of a Rick house today. Well, that's good to know because that's exactly <laughs> what we're going to talk about. Okay. And just like, uh, just like you right now, uh, the heat has a pretty important role for whisky. It changes things quite a lot. Yeah, so let's talk about Rick houses. Okay, so Jerry, what's a rick house basically? Well, a rick house, it's basically like a big warehouse for your casks. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a bit different uh, in Kentucky, for example, than uh, Scotland, mm -hmm. which is why it plays a pretty important role in uh, the whiskey maturation. In right. Scotland, your traditional warehouse is a dunnage warehouse, right. where it'll be one story, and generally the casks will be stacked three high, and the walls will be made out of uh, stone, usually. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of like the old fashioned, you know, dirt floor, and yep. just Putting the stacking and not the cast on top of each other. It's, you know? Yeah, they're actually stacked on top of each other mm -hmm. and not in little racks. So if you want to move one out, you get yeah, to Yeah, if you need one on the bottom, it's going to take a while. <laughs> You're going to need some help. So, and actually, that's interesting. You said a rack, because um, uh, I also heard it called rack house, rick house, mm -hmm. rack house. Yeah, same thing. And uh, this is basically a completely different structure from the usual dunnage warehouses. Yeah, the dunnage warehouses with that one story, the old traditional stone, mm -hmm. it'll stay nice and cool and mm -hmm. a nice slow maturation. The rick houses in the United States are built completely different from the beginning. Mm -hmm. Like it's actually they start with the internal structure that actually holds the cask, and it's made out of wood. Yeah. And they actually build that up separately, floor by floor. They start with that, and then they make the floors, which are made out of wood as well. Mm -hmm. And they build it up to seven stories instead of one. Each floor is uh, like stacked three high with barrels as well. Yeah. So but they actually uh, sit in their little rack. Yeah. So they each have their kind of rack. So you can uh, actually grab one from the bottom without yeah. everything <laughs> falling over. Uh, and these are actually kind of, it looks like a big jungle gym actually they, they yeah, build it's, it's like a cage with like different uh, stacks and racks and and it's all built like that and then they put the roof on at the end and then they build the walls around yeah, it the walls and the roof they come so what are they made of like that can change also the, the yeah, aging conditions the that's another important part because it can be made out of wood it can be made out of stone or thick brick or even the famous warehouse H here at Blanton's uh, with Buffalo Trace they uh, they have the metal cladding on the walls mm -hmm. so that's gonna make it age differently. Yeah, it's all about with the maturation, uh, the metal cladding, it'll heat up a lot more during the day and cool off more at mm -hmm. night. And with that greater temperature fluctuation, you're going to get a lot more cask influence. Mm -hmm. You have the contraction of the wood that pulls the whiskey in and out of the wood mm -hmm. and matures faster than, okay. say, if you had uh, the stone or a thick brick wall. Uh, like for example, Few uses the, an old ice house with huge brick walls. Mm -hmm. so it's not a brick house, but uh, mm -hmm. it has a very cooler atmosphere and a, a slower maturation. And so I guess basically what the, the, main, um, the main thing to talk about about brick houses is this, the fact that the barrels are going to age differently within the warehouse. Like whether they're at the top floor, the bottom floor, on the outside, on the inside. Um, the aging conditions will be different. Yeah, from, from warehouse to warehouse it will be different, from what floor you're on in the warehouse, mm -hmm. how it was made. If you're on the seventh floor or by the wall with exposure to the sun all day. It feels like a sun. Yeah. I mean, I've been to the sixth floor of Buffalo Trace, yeah. it's like, wow, it's hot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, then you're, yeah, when your whiskey is literally just sitting there in a sauna, kind of steaming mm -hmm. all day, that might be a great spot, for example, to put a whiskey uh, that you want to release a little younger. Mm -hmm. It'll mature a lot it quicker. Faster. Actually, we talked about that with the master blender over at Buffalo Trace. Um, I think we still got a video clip of that. Um, can you tell us a little bit about what you do on a daily basis? I drink a lot, but <laughs> besides that, we ensure the consistency of the products okay. that we produce at Buffalo Trace. And probably more importantly is we develop new products here all the time. So we're always experimenting trying new things, trying to make whiskeys better. So you have a lot of warehouses, we've seen a lot of them here. Um, how do you manage all that with the barrels, what goes into which warehouse, um, you know, how you age the different brands? Yeah, we don't put it all our eggs in one basket, mm -hmm. so when we make a batch we'll distribute them to different warehouses because they're all going to give you different flavors depending on where you put them. We have a lot of different recipes which gives us the diversity plus aging, uh, location, not just where the warehouse is, but within the warehouse. We were on the sixth floor earlier on and uh, it is a lot hotter. You know, can you tell us about the differences between the different uh, areas in the warehouses? It depends on what you're looking for. You want something that matures fast for, say, a three to maybe a six-year-old, you'd go to the top floors. 
whereas maybe a little bit older mid middle floors and then the oldest products we have would be towards the bottom in the cooler part of the warehouse. Good. All right, and so sometimes because these are these old traditional wooden warehouses, there are accidents. <laughs> yeah, there, may, there have been times where some of the internal structure broke yeah, and led to a chain actually, reaction right? that lost the thousands of casks. Actually, yeah, when I was in the in Buffalo Trace, there was this like string hanging in the middle of the warehouse with a weight at the bottom. And I think they were telling me that it's to make sure the things are all still straight. <laughs> because yeah. the you know you have to balance your barrels as well to make sure you're not putting too much weight on one side or the other. And uh, there's been like even in the last couple of years there's been like two major accidents where Rick yeah. houses and just like crash and they lose all their barrels. Completely other disasters as well. It's made out of wood so mm -hmm. there's been fires. Yeah. Heaven Hill. And with alcohol, yeah, Heaven Hill, they, around 2015, I think they had a really big fire and lost mm -hmm. a bunch of barrels. Uh, natural disasters like tornadoes. <laughs> so yeah, that's a good one because, um, was it the H. Taylor tornado edition? Yeah, and where Buffalo Trace, the tornado went tore through and tore the roof off of uh, one of the Rick's <laughs> houses. And obviously now that changes the conditions as well in the Rick house. Because so. it's like right on the sun, um, mm -hmm. sunlight, and uh, they, so they released that as a special bottling. And actually it's interesting is that, um, they kind of learned from that and decided to do a bunch of experiments. Um, so they, they built the Warehouse X over at Buffalo Trace, where they have four separate chambers, and they do tests on different temperatures, different humidity levels, and things like that. We, uh, we, did talk to that um, we did talk about that with uh, the master distiller over at Buffalo Trace, and uh, we got a video about the Warehouse X. Okay, so we're here at Warehouse X. Um, can you tell us a little bit more about this project? In 2006, we had a really bad um, storm here that ripped right. the roof off of one of the warehouses and expose some of the barrels to the atmosphere and really it, it lended itself pretty well with our experimental program where we uh, experiment with all different things uh, recipes and wood and processes and all the different things we do but we really didn't have a way to explore the environment and the way that impacted the flavor of the whiskey so we came out with warehouse we came up with the idea of warehouse x which is really a chambered warehouse mm -hmm. where we can m manipulate the environment however we want and, and see how that affects the flavor of the whiskey. So we've seen that the, the conditions change from where you are in the warehouse. Um, over time as well, I mean, obviously in the summer there's a few cycles because of the heat, um, but they also recreate some heat cycles in the winter at some distilleries, like at yeah. Victor's for example. You actually get, you have a ton of natural changes that affects the maturation mm -hmm. of the whiskey throughout the years. Uh, and we have now kind of some man-made ways to mimic that. Mm -hmm. uh, Michter's Woodford Reserve, they actually have um, the heat cycling in the rickhouse. So what does that mean? They just... They actually pump in hot air steam into the rickhouse to do the temperature control where they'll heat it up and then they'll let it get cold. Because, I mean, if it's January in Kentucky and you mm -hmm. have ice, snow on the ground maybe even, uh, you don't get as much of that uh, temperature fluctuation. To, right. So it's just like at home, you're just gonna, they're gonna just turn the heater on and basically create these make, artificial make, heat turn conditions. Turn the air conditioning <laughs> on too, you know. Yeah. Okay. okay, great. So, hey, thanks for watching us at home. Uh, if you like what you see, give us a thumbs up. Follow us for more. And we've got a question for you in the comments. I think you know the answer. What is the smallest uh, warehouse at Buffalo Trace? It's not a Rick house, but uh, there is a small warehouse. And how many barrels does it contain? So I think you know, put it in the comments. And we'll see you next time. Thanks, Jared. Thanks, guys. Bye.